And happy Whenever your heart is broken Don't ever forget you're golden I will find a light in your soul I'll be there, I'll be there. So this first genius decided to order a pizza with no tomatoes Because she has a tomato allergy Like seriously she orders from a place where tomatoes are the main event of course, she discovers a tomato, loses her cool, and demands an apology and a refund. When the worker hangs up on her, she storms into the restaurant, and let's just say she got served, but not in the way she expected. I've been working out. You've been working out. I've been losing the weight. You've been losing and weight. I'm doing this right here. Don't play with it. Okay. I got to fight with three women. When it was? Daughter night. <laughs> You can't hang up on me now. I did. Well, you can't hang up on me now. I'm standing right here in front of you. Give a rat's ass. Well, I do give a rat's ass. You could have had me in the hospital. Do you understand that? You could at least said sorry to me. All right, sorry. Who you call the Oh, gentlemen. Yes, I did. 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 Yes, you could at least said something. I'm sorry your parents are brother and sister. Oh and you're a fat sack of inbred shit. Excuse me. No, that McMuffin should take 20 minutes. Why you have it? Why you have it? You can tape it all your Do what you're told. Me. No, 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 you too. Drag me. No, you do what you told. Drag me. You wild scared. Come out of this. Drag me. Come out of this woman. Drag, Drag me, me, I said. She says that she loves me, she just wants to fuck me Got me feeling something, got me feeling nothing Alcoholic junkie, says she thinks I'm funny Think I might get lucky, spending too much money She says she wants my necklace, put her on the guest list Hope I don't regret this, hope I don't regret this I'm feeling hella reckless This lady caused a ruckus when she received a crumbled dollar bill from an employee After complaining and getting a fresh one her mood soured even more upon finding her sandwich is in disarray. I mean, come on, you can't insult a grown man calling him a little girl and then expect a sandwich that's not a hot mess. Okay. Okay, so what's wrong? but this food, and I'm gonna put it on YouTube and I'm gonna call that that's right is right and wrong is wrong. What's wrong I ain't no food, dog. Miss? Are you kidding me? You see this? Let me fall. No, we before that. No, no, but I asked him over and over. I got I've been I've been taping this. I asked the manager to replace me. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Okay, I understand, but why? Why did that? That's not right. But this is wrong, sir. Honest to God, he wrong. She right is right. I'm in the back, miss. One thing about me, I know the customer right. I can make the call out now. I know. Have your way. This Burger King this is the way you gonna treat me like this. This is your sandwich. We're making better. We'll fix it. Just give me the sandwich. Can I please get a? All because I wanted another bill. Don't give me a, 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 a tow up bill. And so he getting an attitude with me like he's a little girl. Why is he doing, why did he did that? He didn't have to do me like that. And then give me a trash sandwich. And this is Burger King, have it your way, right? When can, I'm done with you, you're gonna be I a Burger you? King. <laughs> I don't wanna talk to you. These two neighbors are accusing each other of stealing a jack handle. Not a whole jack, but just the handle. Why are you going to my truck? Because my handle of my jacket. Nope. is All this stuff out. has been documented. I've owned it for several years. Oh, you have, have you? Yeah, I've got pictures, documentation, okay, and video, and date times. From, uh, I owe NASA. you nothing. I owe you nothing. You owe me everything. No. She says she's got documents and she's owned it for years. Uh-huh. Yep, I do. Because there's more than one jack handle in the universe that look alike. 
You have no right to go through my personal property. You need to return it's my not property. not your personal property. You stole Get it! Out of my face. Yeah, don't touch me! Get out of don't my face! Don't you touch me! Don't you touch me! Don't you touch me! I oh, oh, shut up, you big baby! You just grabbed and threw oh, me in my truck! Me. You touched no. me! I did not! You touched me! Get him! Get him! Get him! Shut up and take I got it on video! I got it on You're video! Out of the mental home! You got out of the mental home, didn't you? Want to see what I'm dealing with today? Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at. Watch. This guy's like so crazy, it's not funny. He's been going off on me. He's freaking nuts. I can't believe it. This guy is so crazy. He's crazy. You're recording me, man. You're recording me, man. You're recording me. Come on, come on. Come now on. I got, now I got him insulting me. Now I just got him assaulting me. Now I'm calling the cops. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so, which house? <laughs> this lady is quite a character. She keeps dialing the cops on her neighbor for the slightest reasons. And get this, the last time she left him a ticking package attempting to scare him into moving out. I said if you poison my tree, you're going to pay for it. Okay, yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. My tree. I'm sending it to I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. Yeah, you will. Yeah. I don't know how because you ain't got nothing. I'll pay for it. Lunatic. You're a lunatic. Go in your go in your own property. You are a what this is my property. Why do you loiter around this junk? Loiter? This is not your property. It belongs to the bank. Oh, does it? We all know. You know, don't you? I do know. You're fing smart. You're fing smart. You really aren't. That's why you left your shipping label on that sign you left. Shipping label? Yeah. On what? That wasn't me. Th it wasn't you? No. Somebody just came and took your box and, and wrote a sign on it? It wasn't me. It was probably my husband. Mm -hmm. Go away. If you want me gone, the easiest thing for you to do is to move. No. I'm because I'm not going you anywhere. Don't even own this house anymore. I'm not going anywhere. The bank is taking this house from you. You don't own it. I don't know what you're talking about. Public record. You have no That's clue. Stupid. You have no clue. This guy wins the most absurd complaint of the year. This guy genuinely believes that Whole Foods employees are out to poison him because their coffee lacks caffeine. His solution head to the police station hoping to get them arrested for serving him a not so strong coffee. It's a caffeine conspiracy of epic proportions. Who is poisoning you? The whole food, the whole food staff. And, and, it's, and it's coffee and there's no caffeine in it? Uh, I mean, that's a health department. No, it's not. It's poisoning. It's in the penal code. What's your name? PSA Long, Elementary. What's your badge number? 4785. 4785. Can okay, I see a sergeant or a watch commander? You need uh, medical help? To no, I don't. No, I don't. I have, I have chest pain, but I'll make it. Okay, I need... No, I, you know, if you have a medical issue... No, I don't need an ambulance. Like, I just told the okay. woman... I just... Who were you talking to? 911. Okay, what did they tell you? Um, To call the non-emergency number, and then it was a voicemail. So, so this, 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 this is coffee. Is food, this is... Because they're not gonna come, they're not gonna press charges on themselves. I'm here to press charges for poisoning, felony, and conspiracy by all the employees there. As is my right. You wouldn't be allowed to be in business if that was the case. Sir, if you don't calm down, I'm gonna have you arrested on the property. Ten four. I got a subject here that says a vehicle was stolen off of our property. What's your name, sir? Officer Cox. Okay. You got a badge number? Are you are you a certified law enforcement officer? Uh, I was, yes, sir. Brandon but you're not now? Plan I don't have me. I'm a security officer for Baptist. We carry guns and tasers. Yeah. No vehicle was stolen. Go to the front lobby. No officer. vehicle was stolen, right? No, no. That's sir. what you're no, telling me? My no wife's car wasn't stolen no from here. No vehicle was stolen. Yeah. Okay. They All want to meet you at the front lobby of the Capitol Police. Yeah. Back yeah. up. Oh, Back real up. police are going to meet me. Huh? Real police are going to meet me. Uh, well, we're real police, too, but this is our campus. So why don't you do the report on the uh, stolen car? 
They're doing a car that was broke into, sir, not stolen on the property. And we'll, go, okay, to the front, name, go to the front lobby and talk to the officer. Your name was Mr. Cox? Officer Cox, know? I ain't got no more yeah. time to waste with you because you don't know what you're talking about. You can back up here and go to the front lobby and meet with Capitol Police. Well, great. That'd and be well, great I got, to what's your real. name, sir? What's hey, your name? your business, what my name I, is. I'll find out my name is name Taxpayer. Is. I, I got the information. I'll find out who Great. Hey, come see me at my house. This guy is on a rampage inviting his neighbors to a street showdown like it's a suburban brawl invitation. It's quite amusing considering he's driven to the brink by barking dogs. One can't help but wonder if he's ever heard of headphones. And you, with that dog, I hear that dog again, I'm gonna crack his skull open. Both of you, you understand me? Both of you, you, you with that dog and him, okay? You I better not come over here. here. You better I'm not come over here. here. I'm gonna crack his skull open with an axe handle, okay? Kay. You and this guy are gonna stop, okay? I've had enough. I've been going through this since last September, lady. I don't know who the hell you are. Go in there and get your husband, your father, and whoever he is. Bring him out here. Bring him out here. Where? You see your man? Tell him to come out here. I'm a little guy, man. I'm 5'6". Tell him to come out here. Tell him to come out here. What do you, what, what do you, what are you not in your head at? I'm serious, girl. Sure. I'm telling you, I'm serious. This is gonna stop. I'm gonna stand out here and terrorize this whole neighborhood until it stops. This guy claims he spotted a lady who claims to be a teacher holding her baby in her arms, ready to drive off. He just wanted to let them know that the baby should be in a car seat. However, the teacher insisted she wasn't planning to move and started going off on him. You're the one that's You're a teacher? A police officer. You're a teacher? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell you what I am. I could. I, to tell you what I, I already am. know what you are. You You're an angry I'm woman. Not, You're the one that started everything. I Catholic started everything? Say, driving with a baby? I'm not going to touch you. I would touch you. I would have touch you with that. With that I have a right. You shouldn't drive it with a baby. Right. That's all. I just I was concerned for you. I was I was worried about your baby. That's all. I just want to make sure you weren't going to pull out. That's all. I don't. I just don't want you to pull out. The car was turned off. She's doing this because she's a bad parent. And she's trying to make it seem better. I'm okay. I just didn't want you to pull out on the street. It's hard to hear you with her. You want to step over here? No, you're talking to me. No, I'm not. I can press charges on you right now. We're good. I just wanted you to make sure you're not driving with the baby. That's all. That's all. He was a little bit of a shit. Like that. And you're a fat, ugly lady, hey, but we're not going to talk no, about no, that. No, 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 she no, called no. me a bum. She can call me a bum? Who does that I know, to somebody? I know. A, a teacher. Reason. A teacher. You know who I am. Go away, you lady. Know about me. I, I, I know you're a lousy parent. Yeah. 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 This guy wins the award for the most absurd statement of the year. It's, it's, it's truly a wonder he's still roaming the streets. I need some money, right? I was talking to Shy about it, and I'm going to take that receipt. And I'm going to write out a ransom letter, right? We're going to go down to Carson City and it's going to say, give me $500 if somebody dies, he's going to walk it into the bank. We're going to have to rob my own money out of Bank of America because this is putting a lot of people at risk. Um, By saying what? Saying you were gonna rob my own money back from you guys. You guys are trying to kill me. You have my money and okay. I need it. Not I you. Need, not you. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I need you to stop. I'm sitting down. I left my name and number. I'm. I'm just gonna take off. She can give me a call when she has resolution. Uh, no, you need to stay. They got my name and number. They can call me. Oh uh, yes, sir. Okay. What statements did you make? Did you threaten them in any way? Uh no. You can watch it on YouTube. You okay. can watch the entire interaction. It was all recorded? Yes, sir. Okay. I record everything. I have Tourette syndrome. Okay, and that's okay. Yes, sir. Did you, did you threaten to go down to Carson? No. I said I might have to do this, write it on the receipt that I just gave her. Okay. So I gave her an empty receipt that says $304, and I was being facetious. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay, they just don't want you back there. Okay, okay. respect. Sound fair? Yeah. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you being cool with me, okay? Okay. If you need anything, give us a call. All right, thank you. Yep. So this Uber driver, who's supposed to be nice, completely flipped out when the passenger mentioned that the car smelled like smoke. She canceled the ride and went off on a poor guy. Now call the police. You get mad because I tell you get out of my car? You can kiss my You stink away. Your mama stink. I don't give a shouldn't be driving. I don't give a Ain't 
no weed in here. Somebody was just in my car. You get mad over some smell? That don't got nothing to do with me. White cracker? You racist mayo mayonnaise? You got me f***ed up. Call the police. I'm waiting for them to pull up right now. Call them. Call the police right now. What's wrong with you? No, you can go on social media and do whatever you want to do. I'm glad you're here in the city where it's crime rate. You think I give a f*** about your opinion about a smell? Less this, more this. How about you less this and spend more time with your Watch out, she doesn't run you over. Watch out, she doesn't run you over. Like it can't be. Your Don't side. watch your business. What's wrong with you? Oh, dear. You keep on walking. You realize you're walking around. I'm so sad for you. I know, I'm sad. I feel so sad for you. I'm sad too. I'm sad too. Here's a lesson in how not to talk to your package delivery person. This guy was incredibly rude to his FedEx driver, and as a result, he ended up taking his package. Okay, so I'm for the this is, yep, this is for you. That's FedEx. What happened right here? Huh? What happened right here? You don't see that big thing? You can set it down. What's that? What are you talking about? This? You can set it down. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and sign for it. Huh? You don't need me to sign for it? Well, it was marked I had it under See the yes or no? Huh? Do you need me to sign for it or no? Is it yes or no? No, man. It's... Hold on, man. It's my package, man. Go put the package down, man. Let me call my boss. Well, then you call him, but you put my package back. What are you doing? Yeah, hey, what do you want? What I want is to deliver a package if you want it. Who's it for? Ian. Never mind, you can pick it up. Hey, hey! This guy took rudeness to a whole new level when he got upset with an 18-year-old driver who accidentally hit his bumper after he slammed his brakes. The young driver already frustrated, struggling to find her insurance, and he added to the chaos by saying that she would go to jail if she didn't have insurance. So, I barely touched I'm gonna your car. need your insurance. I barely touched your car. I don't care. Give me your insurance before I call the cops. Okay. I'm gonna call the cops. Yeah, I want your insurance. Yeah, can I call my mom real quick? Give me your insurance. Okay, but can I call my mom? I'm not playing. No, give me your insurance. Talk to her later. Okay, but she's the one who has me. Like, I'm trying to find it, but my insurance is through the dealership. Well, it sounds like you're going to jail. J what do you mean? I'm only Find 18. insurance. I'm like, what are you doing? You shouldn't have slammed you? into me. You know what you did. I did not slam into you. If your daughter doesn't surface this insurance, I'm going to call the cops. This is my sister. My mom is working. You said you were calling your mom. I know. She... Alright, so I'm calling the cops. No, look. look. That's my mom's number, but my sister is speaking. Okay, my... that doesn't matter. I'm talking about insurance. I okay. want your insurance. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find I don't it. care about your waterworks. Just give I'm me the insurance. I'm trying to find it. You're trying to turn I'm this trying around to me. Find it. You're trying to turn this around on me. Now you're no, getting I'm, I'm trying to find very it. volatile. I'm trying to find it. You came to a complete stop. I, I don't know at all. I don't, I don't even know what an insurance paper look like. Here's a classic case of karma hitting back. Let's call it Karen gets karen the same guy who dished out the rudeness found himself pulled over and slapped with two tickets for not having insurance. Three officer cars for one valid oh, tag? Lucky day, huh? I know. Shame on you, Sergeant. Two citations, one for not having insurance on your vehicle and one for obscured uh, license plate registration. Hey, Sergeant. Shame on you. Okay. In Texas, if you're going to hey, have Sergeant. Vehicle Shame registration on, on the back of your vehicle like that, Sergeant. it has to be visible. Sergeant. It has to be visible. Shame on you. Okay? There you go, sir. You have a good day, all right? Shame on you. Don't cry now. It's a little too late for that. Look at this clown. Are you taking a video of me, though? Yeah. For what? Because I can. It's my, I can take a video. Why? Wow, you got a problem with it? You don't take no video of me, sir. You got a problem with it? Yeah, we got a problem with it. You guys, I'm pretty sure. I live here. Get out of my neighborhood. What do you, you mean, your neighborhood? Store, you came from the grocery store? It's 4 o'clock in the morning. 
Get out of the neighborhood. I've got oatmeal. Right. Why? Then why are you running? I'm jogging. You're jogging? Yes. Okay. Post it. Do it. Yep. Look at you. Look at you! Crazy. Yeah, yeah, but... Get the goddamn camera off the truck! <laughs> This guy got hit with a parking ticket and he's not thrilled. Claiming he's new to the city and didn't spot the new parking sign, he asked the clerk to waive the ticket but they declined. That's when he pulled a Karen move. So you're not going to avoid it? No, I'm not going to avoid it, sir. You can avoid it though, right? No, I can't avoid it. There's no, nothing no, you sir. can do. No, sir. For me. No, sir. All right, then you could just go on then. Okay, you have a great day, sir. Yeah, you too. Get out of here. What was that say here? You can take your stuff and leave. Go ahead, man. You'd like, go. All right. Skedaddle. We, we, can't, we can't help you, sir. I know. Okay. All right. Keep you going. Have a great day. You have a great day, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Exactly. This scaring couple was making a fuss at Taco Bell, demanding a refund. Another customer, fed up with their antics, decided to call them out. The Karen confidently claims he's not scared, but as you witness, he's he's pretty scared. Uh, uh, nah, nah, nah. Hey, I want my food. What? Come on, man. Come, Come on, man. Come on, man. What's up? Hey, 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 what's up? What's good? You're trying to do all this extra for what? I've already called the police, so I really don't care. Oh, I'm sorry, right there. Right, just like everybody else would. Everybody else is leaving. You're supposed to be scared, bro. You will be. Come on. Um, yes, I just need another officer. I'm going to get my food right there. There's a man by the way. Keeping on some workers because they got those shit. Bro, I'm going to get my food. This guy made a comment to the officer as he was escorting a customer out the store. The officer didn't appreciate the remark and suggested he could take his badge off to settle this matter through a mutual combat. Do you want to say that again on camera? No, do you want to say you want you'll, you'll take your badge off? I will take my badge off if that's your, if you want a problem with me. It's not a big deal. I'm doing my job and you're intervening. That's obstruction. How am I intervening? He already walked away. You already walked away. That means that interaction was already over. I mean, this is how roughly the police ripped me out of my goddamn car. Is that? It's from their utility belt. Scratching and denting my damn car. Look, there's even a dent down here. You see this? You see the reflection? See how it swirls? Like scratching up my goddamn car like they had to, like I was some some like oh oh can't even can't even never been arrested in my life never even been arrested in my goddamn life y'all see me in this reflection this is suing the goddamn police you better give me my goddamn money for you hurting me this guy wanted to return a package but long story short the employee denied him service because he said he was asking too many questions in the end the employee challenged the guy to meet him at seven o'clock Fast forward, and here he is showing up at 7 o'clock to confront the situation. I just want to make sure. Show up here at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? Yeah. You going to whoop my ass then? Oh, you going to call the police now? You want to whoop my ass at 7, but you want to call the cops? You a mm -hmm. Look at you. Yeah. You want to you wanna fight me at 7, because you can't do it now. Mm -hmm. But, but... But, oh, because I'm off today, I, I, I don't have a job. Oh, so, so I don't have a job? Mm -hmm. So how can I help you? How can I help you? Cause you're oh, you can step outside with my ass like you pr so Oh, you can step out with my ass like you promised to do. This guy claims he's a lawyer and threatens to file a lawsuit against Chipotle because they refuse to serve him. His refusal came after making inappropriate comments and attempting to get employees' numbers. What did I say? Them, what did I say? Asking them for their number and such while they're in the workplace. This is discrimination. These people won't serve me because of my ethnicity. This is racial discrimination. I'm filing a lawsuit. They will not serve me. I've been nothing but nice to these people. 
and they refuse to serve me. And I'm not leaving until somebody calls the police. I'm not leaving. I swear to God, I'm not leaving. Go ahead, call them. These people will not serve me, and I am a free American citizen, and they refuse to serve me. Excuse me. What did I do? What did I do? Tell me what did I do? Because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm a lawyer. And you know what? You guys are going to lose your jobs. You're going to lose your job. You know that? This is discrimination. Was I not nice to any everybody at who works here? Yes or no? I've been nice. I say thank you. I'm such a nice person. You know? this, this is ridiculous. You know? I'm nothing but nice to you, yo. Seriously, I've been nothing but nice to you. Yo. Seriously, I've been nothing I but nice to you. Want you to record yo, me. I've been nothing but nice to you, you yo. You need to step back. What's your problem? You need to step what are you gonna back. Do? You what are you going to do? Back. What are you going to do? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought, but you're yo. On camera, yo, you this is not back. right, yo. Yo, you cannot do this, yo. You guys are going to lose your jobs. It's discrimination. You don't understand what you're doing, yo. Yo, this is discrimination. You need to calm down. Yo, this is discrimination, yo. But you don't believe this is discrimination, yo. It is Nicole. The way he spoke to the employee who declined easily reveals he's more of a Google lawyer. In a similar scenario, this worker made a comment to a woman as she walked into the store and she wasn't pleased with what he said. The conversation took a nosedive from a simple, hey, I think you're cute, to suggesting she needs medication. So where's the manager? Where's the manager? Lady. Where's the manager? I need to take medication. Where's the manager? Lady, you need to get out of here. Oh, now you're going to be polite? No, you need to leave. Okay. It was all caught on camera. We can we can do the same thing all day. We can, They're not supposed to do that. No, we, we you doing it. We can do this all day. We can do this all day. You're sick. You're gross. You're gross. You have a good day. Have a good night. So we've got one Karen claiming another Karen stole her library card and even swiped a page from her book? The recording Karen insists the saga has been going on since February 30th? <sighs> Just a heads up for those with a mind like this Karen, there is no February 30th. The plot thickens. We have a Karen, ladies and gentlemen, who approached, we all know what a Karen is, for a whole month blaming that I took something that is not deserving. So Karen, uh, welcome to the neighborhood. I've heard a lot about you on the internet. You've been really famous for about two months. And Karen was harassing after February 30th. And I'm a very good sport, you know. Oceanside likes to make an ass out of everybody, including me all the time. But it's kind of funny because I look brown skinned. So she face, wants to be get racial. Get out of my face. Hi, Karen. Police. We don't come here today. Hi, Karen. Hi, Can Karen. You please call the Oceanside Police again. I have this Hi, Karen. The same lady. Hi, Karen. This clip is pure comedy gold. You can't even pick a side because both parties are acting like a total goofballs. The worker claims his name is Rick James, and the customer buys into it. Well, can I speak to your supervisor, please? This lady's cussing at me. I refuse to serve her. I did not cuss she's at him. She's at me. She's swearing at me. I did. I didn't. She knows. She's never recorded me. All she you knows are. that. She knows that I'm not like that. Well, can I just get my stuff you can and go? Out. I can cuss too. Bye. See, he I, cussed at me. Yeah. Ma'am, can I just buy my stuff nope. and get out? Please grab your stuff, cause. Can I speak to the supervisor? I am a supervisor. Can I speak to the supervisor, ma'am? He's the same, isn't he? I mean, we, we have the right to deny service, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. We do. Bye. Squirrel star, I look good, so. And do you see the way his attitude is right now? I can act like that. You it's like, that look at the way he's acting. No, no, you, but you see. He's a liar too. You're no, a liar no, a no, liar. she no, was like, she didn't want to be involved. That's the. This is white privilege. White privilege. White privilege. I'm on EB, EBT, I'm on social services. White How can I be white privilege? What's your name? Rick, Rick James. Okay. 
Thanks, Rick. You have a good evening. This guy is not too happy at this grocery store because he bought pudding. But when he brought it home, it turned out to be as runny as soup or as he claims. The employee not too happy with his attitude turned out to also speak Karen. Covering up your name? For what? Because I didn't do nothing to you. Uh, you sitting here recording me for what? Be, because I am documenting. I'm not in your face. If you don't want me in your face, you can get out of my face, please. You can you're, you're, you're in my space. You though. can step you're away. In my space. You're free to step away. No, There's... you just walked up on me. What do you mean? I'm free to walk away. You can get out of my face. That's what you can't. Exactly. Do. How far do you need can me you to be? Please get out of my face, sir, because you just walked up on me. How far do you now, need me I to be? If I react, I'll be the bad guy, right? Get How out far away face. do you need me face, to step, sir? I'm telling you right now. You get tell... out of my face. You tell me exactly how many steps you want me to take. Get out of my face. You refuse to identify yourself. Right. Uh, and you know, face, I, I'm, you're walking up on me at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm like face. I'm like three I'm feet away right from you. Get up out of my face now. Because if I react to you, then it's going to be a problem. Don't walk up on me like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like uh -oh. Like oh -oh. This is on YouTube. And you're walking up on this me. This is though, on YouTube. Put it on whatever social site that you this want. This is on YouTube. Put it on whatever social site that you want. Wow. Man, I don't care. Look at this. I don't care. Look at this. Like, stop playing with me. You must not like your job. Oh, there she goes with the F-bomb again. You must not like your job. This is going to be on YouTube by the time you get home. You both need to be instructed in how to deal with irate customers. Which, as a matter of fact, I am not. Talking about Walmart and Karen's confronting workers for hanging up on them, they show up in person only to face the same treatment they dished out. This lady got owned in Walmart when she thought she was going to confront the employee who hung up on her. You yes, hung let's, up on let's, me earlier. I did, because yeah, I didn't have because to deal with rude. that. Just like I don't have to deal with this. No, I'm mad because you hung up on me earlier. You shouldn't have got loud. Exactly. You, you hung up on me first. Please get, yeah. Yeah, let's get the manager over Get your here. manager here. Because yeah, my manager's not here, love, so we're going to get a manager here. That's fine. And I'm still not going to help you. Yes, you are. I bet I will. And what's your name? D. D? Yes. Cool, because I can follow up with some place. Because you were rude to him on the phone too earlier. Him? This gentleman. Him? Yeah. Does she know? No, but we were yeah, talking about okay. how far we'll become the service person you are. No, ma'am. I'm not in my business. You're not. She's not your business if you don't know him. Okay, right. we had a so conversation because you're standing here waiting okay. all day. You can go find a manager complaint there. After complaining, the manager told her she didn't appreciate her attitude and refused her service. So, yeah, the worker won the bet. This next customer confronts the manager at an auto zone for the way he spoke to his employee during their phone conversation. And her, if I was her father or her boyfriend, you better believe it. I'll take you and beat your ass outside the way you speak to this young lady. She don't deserve it and you shouldn't even be speaking to anybody like that. Yes, when she answered the phone, being doing her job and you were nasty to her. You were nasty to this young lady. Leave the store. It's okay yeah. though, Tom Robinson. I'm gonna call and make a complaint. Go ahead. Let's see how long you have your job yeah. here, okay? Leave, please. Hey man, you're an experienced guy. Why are you spending the tarps up? It's none of your goddamn business. Really? That's why. Okay, you just said that all the phone. So call the cop. Call whoever you gotta call. Forget the out of my goddamn way. I'm not in your way. Yeah, you are. Just you opening your mouth, breathe in my ear, you're not Awfully aggressive, man. Why would you admit to that? Get Say out. it again. No, Get no, no, no. Out. You're wrong, man. Yeah. You're wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You're wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do it again, right here. Do it again. This guy over here is trying to tell oh, me yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. right. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, tomorrow I'll come here with the manager, I'm bro. Working. I'm not working tomorrow. I don't care. <laughs> You're wrong, man. Stick in your ass. You're wrong, man. Yeah, I'm wrong. You oh, man. You lit my you know what it, you know, you know where this business is going to be where, you know yeah, what? Yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. 7-Eleven, I never seen. Why? Why? I'm going to grab money. another one, I don't care. Kick your ass right now. Right now, you need to call. Oh man, I call you cops right now, man. Call right now. This is a good video, man. Oh crap. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. You want to suck it? What can I? <laughs> oh man! Get out! Get out! Get out! For your safety! Get let, out! Get out right now! Me. Call the cops if you want I don't to. Need to call the cops! I kick your ass and call the ant. No! Oh you man! Call, call. Hey! Hey! What? You want? You want to do it? Huh? I don't want to do it. But yeah, you're I a camera, you bro. Mm -hmm. 
You're in big trouble tomorrow, right? It's this guy's first time at Starbucks and he's apparently unaware that bringing a Walmart cart inside the shop isn't the norm. He's not too thrilled when they inform him he can't bring it in. With an attitude, John, without an H, orders his first coffee while the worker keeps her cool. That's hogwash. Hogwash. I'm sorry, it's just our policy. We can't have the Walmart. Where's the policy? Cart. I want to see it. We just can't have the shopping Let me see the policy, the please. Can I please see the policy? Walmart's property. Can I please see the policy? We can look it up for you. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we're a little bit sure. Let's Is do that right now. Can I get you started for your beverage? Yeah, while well, we're debating this issue. Yeah, and it's not really a debate. Okay, I'm going to win. I want a double shot, white chocolate. Hot. A mocha? That's double shot, white chocolate, hot. Hot. Is it a mocha? What's the difference between mocha and what? Well, well how big? A how lot of milk in there, or do you want some uh, water? No, I want cream. Okay. Show me the size. Show me the size. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, uh, small one. Anything else that we can get for you? Yeah, the policy. Sure. It's going to be And I'm in a hurry, too. Okay. Um, Let's get going, please. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that going for you. What was your first name? John, without an H. Okay. Your music sucks. I'm really sorry to hear that you don't enjoy it. Yeah. This guy claims KFC messed up his $16 order. The worker denied any mistake and went as far as to suggest the customer pick the receipt from the trash. That's when the Karen inside of him fully emerged, demanding compensation and throwing around statements like, KFC owes me $1,000 for this inconvenience. Classic Karen moves. This dude said uh, I ripped him off, told me my receipt was in the trash. Don't worry, I'm gonna put it on Facebook too. That's what everybody else does. Check it out, I'm white, okay? I'm Italian, <laughs> Irish, Swedish, Scottish, and Welch. Well, care. I'm not white, I'm what? I, don't I know care. you don't care, see? Don't care. That's I like racist know. right there. I'm being racist? Yeah. I'm as white as you, bro. Yeah, but I don't care what color you are. You can have a good night. I don't know, it's not a racist border. Like, I, you see, I want to watch you lose your job. I'm gonna lose I want, your job. I want like a thousand bucks for putting up your bucks? For putting up your yeah. I didn't do nothing. You sure I gave you a receipt? You treated me like I'm a criminal. I'm not treating you like nothing. You take me off of that. You do? Yeah, yeah, like I said, you. Right here. Have a good night, son. Yeah, I will have a good night. Yeah, I hope you I'll get my receipt back. No, I have to keep no, that. Sorry. Make a copy of it then. Stop you won't give me a copy of my own. So let me see it so I can take a picture of it. No, I'm keeping it right here. I'm not see, there. You. see all that? Here. Won't even give me a copy of my own receipt. I'm giving you the, the copy of it. You didn't do nothing to me but treat I me mean, like a punk, I'm dude. Like, no, I'm not treating you like that. Dude, I see all these people get paid for that. It's my turn. Yeah. Any day, bro. Have a good one. good. Stay classy. I am classy. Stay classy. Stay a punk. This guy insists on employees always telling him in the store and is convinced it happened again on his last visit. However, does he handle it well? He starts cursing at the employees, going off on them, despite efforts from other workers and customers to calm things down. He ends up going off on all of them. So here's the thing, if you curse with us, we can trespass you from the store. Well, who are you? I'm one of the store managers. Is that what you, did you identify yourself as a store manager? No. Okay. So at, at the end of the damn day, this guy's, this guy's been following me around the damn store. I've been in the store two times. And you're trying to, you think, you actually think you want to intimidate me because this idiot is following me around the store? I don't, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to go to your damn corporate office, lady. What is your name? You're a supervisor. What is your name? Please let me know, let you, let me know your name. Hey, this is not, I'm not here to entertain you guys. I'm trying to get the hell out of here. All I said was don't curse at us. That's all I'm asking your name, ma'am. You just identify yourself as a supervisor. What is your name? I'm not telling you anything. You're not telling me anything. Why? Because I'm black? So why don't you call That has nothing to do with anything. Well, what do you think I'm actually going to do with, uh, about your fat ass? Hey. Am I going to stalk you and hunt you down? Right you came over here and now you try to act like if you tell me your damn name, I'm going to try to look you up on Facebook? In a similar situation, the customer claims that this security followed him around the store on his last visit. This time, he decided to record her, which she didn't take too kindly. Don't touch my phone. You don't. You do not touch my phone. You don't make a f video coming this to the is, store. This is here. an assault. Stop assaulting me, or you I will call the assault. police. You don't make, call the that police. That is. Do you have any call idea the how the laws work? Call the police. All right. 
What is your problem? Why didn't you just accost me violently? You this is a, this is a false detention. You know, you do whatever. You're giving me a cause what of action. With, yeah, why are you no. swearing at me? Sam, what is your, uh, I want to see your security okay, license, you please. Back. Please show me your security license like you are legally required to do. I want to see your you security to license. You you I want your security license. You cannot tell me to wait. Why, why are you harassing me? This While guy, trying I was to standing at the door. He kept staring at me and then he started making a video of me. I went and went near to him and said nothing and now he's doing this thing. This lady walks in behind an employee just before they close the door and demands service. They inform her that the lobby is closed, suggesting she uses the drive through She refuses, claiming she's already inside, so they should serve her. The situation takes a strange turn when the employee pretends to call her manager and the cops, but actually calls her mother, who plays along, pretending to be her boss. So you, are you the manager? Yes, my lobby's closed, they're not supposed to be in here after 10. I'm not the one that left the door open. Okay, You're talking to me with an attitude. I don't owe you nothing. I don't work okay, here. You I'm do. Not Issue, you're gonna get me in trouble. Can you do me a favor? Give me a corporate, give me corporate number. I unfortunately do not know the corporate number. It is on the website. She can hear you. No, I can't this hear her. Boss. You're not walking up. This is my boss. Hello? Can you can you bring the phone closer so I can hear her? Go ahead, ma'am. That says your mother. This is my boss. You see here. It says your mother. Oh my god, I'm just gonna call the police for her. That says your mother. Can I please get an S uh, police escort to escort a problem? I'm her my, now you're making a false I'm report. Her my, I'm her my life. Nah, that's I'm not good. I know she, mama, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, what was that now? That's dumb of you. Yes, because I want corporate number. No. Your cameras record. You yeah, got cameras? cameras? Your cameras are to protect you. So when they pull it, right now. when corporate, corporate pull it, not your boss, you're fine. going to have a big problem. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. It's no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like, you still talking? Shut up. No, you shut up. I'm sorry. I'm not used to ignorant people. I'm glad you told me to shut up, too. Corporate gonna love this girl. Better Business Bureau. The whole entire time. Your mom's your boss? Your mom is gonna touch me? And she's calling her mom to come up here for me. I'm asking you, I don't know you. Well, I'm glad you said that. You're not supposed to tell me that That's either. Fine. But you harass me. When you harass me, I'm a human being. Okay. 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 I didn't harass you. Like that. Everything has been recorded. You're not finna talk to me. Everything has been recorded. You're not finna talk to me like that. This I have is a the best the part. That's fine. You're in my lobby. I'm at work. You're not the owner. You're in my I'm the boss here. This is my show. Again, thank so God not to they be have here. video. You're not supposed to be here. That's fine. That's the, fine. The funny thing That's is they fine. have video. That, you're gonna get in trouble. that proves my innocence. No, in I won't get in trouble. It proves my innocence. You Out of you and you I, are. you're yelling at me. I guess you pushed a button or something. You said they did push the panic button? I'm going to get an attorney for you. All I can say is I hope you got your job when I'm done. Silly girl, I have family that work for FBI and police department. <laughs> this guy temporarily parked on his neighbor's driveway to assist his elderly mother in reaching her property. Within just 30 seconds, his neighbor steps out, accusing him of blocking her from visiting her own mother. Talk about a conundrum in a blink of an eye. Shut up and not, don't say anything. Don't. What do you mean? I need to get out to go see my mother in a nursing home. He's telling you he can park here whenever he wants? Not like this. Way. What I said to her is, not like this. I said to her, when I'm dropping my mother off, she doesn't have to walk on that. Okay? Not like this. Okay, look, let her go. This is a rental vehicle, so you could take all the plates. You could take everything you want to. You could take, and I have you on video cursing the way you're cursing, acting, acting the way you're acting in front of my mother. You know what? You're excused. No, no, no. What you did was you disrespect. I'm disrespecting you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, that's right. You're not your mother. Let's go inside. Come on. Yeah, but I don't appreciate him telling me that he can park here whenever he wants. He cannot. Listen, people can walk by. That's a public drive. It's a public sidewalk. It's, not for, it's, not for, it's for entering and exiting. She's being walk. dropped off. No, okay. Have a nice day. I I'm done to, talking I to you. To get out of my you whoa! I don't care. I'm 
cursing. Yes, okay, I need here. to get my driveway. You're going to have to wait till I bring I my mother go. inside. I got to go see my mother now. Well, right. I got to go see my mother you now. Don't tell me I got to wait. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse you're you're harassing don't us. Don't tell me I got to wait. What are you going to do about it? I got to move my car. Well, you're going to have to wait. Do you have your keys in your hand? How am I going to move it? I got you all on video. James, you're, me you're upsetting my mother is what you're doing. Yeah, well, you're upsetting me. Go ahead, James. Please sh just get the hell out of here. You hear this? That's not right, Susan. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. This lady is a riot. She's got a serious issue with people vaping outside while waiting for the bus. She's like an old school hip hop song bringing that classic vibe to the bus stop. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's called American, not Nazi. It's murder! You're killing me, literally! Killing me! Well, then go somewhere else. Quit screaming at other people. You were the one that spoke to me. I kept my mouth shut. Which was not easy. Because it hurts. It is physically painful. Like I said, are you going to quit? The Karen and her boyfriend make some rather absurd statements, ranging from her claiming she has a TMZ badge that allows her to stand on private property, to her boyfriend asserting his college-educated knowledge about easements. Quite a pair of uh, interesting perspectives, to say the least. You hit me. You hit it. I didn't touch you. Please leave. Re repeat those cameras. Please. I will. I will show the officer. I have a paparazzi rights to stand here. My First Amendment rights. I do not okay, care what you your deal is. Please property. leave. And I'm at You're the end of the stupid. road. You're stupid. You don't live at the I'm end of the road. I'm very stupid, honey. Don't say anything else. Okay. You're already done. Right. He got the yeah. car down just fine. That's what I was, she was trying to tell you to My go around that. That's what I was trying to tell her. Well, that's not our fault that the road's it's not flooded. It's fault that you've got a fault. You should have done that. I have ever that's right. That's that 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 Step back to there. So poor, so That's I already called the police, right sir. She had rammed into the trash can of her car. Put the, put the trash can in front of my car. I don't care. You no, didn't video it. She ran her trash can into the car. She did run her trash can into my car. Yeah, you ran your car you into the trash property. can. That's what you fools don't realize. No, it's not a private road. It's private property. You fight Stop. Stop right there. Stop right there. You approach me any further. Call me a fucking one more time. I swear to God, you're going to lay down the ground. Do you not? Hit me. I didn't hit you. You did. You just beat me. Okay. 
You just assaulted me. I, didn't I just watched you. Yes, you did. You did. You did. battery on you. You have someone out here watching. You just swung on a girl. Bro. I didn't you swing on anybody. I went to grab my phone. You just grabbed my phone. Email. No, well, I did this not. Is recorded. You don't have my uh, my permission to record me. So now you're illegal. You're on my property. And you're going. I'm you're on my property. This is my. Everything's right your property, there. right, Grandma? Right there. there. So that's it. Right, Grandma? Property. Dumb ass. You attacked me again. I didn't attack you, but yes, you, you recording did. me? You're going to you go to jail. You grabbed my phone. This is my property right You're here. You're going to go to jail. No, I'm not. She knocked the phone out of his hand. She saw you. He doesn't have my permission. I have a witness. I have this two is witnesses. Property. This is property. Right. Not out here, it ain't. Yes, that's it is. Doesn't, doesn't give you any right to knock the phone out of I got a lot of money. I'm going to call a settlement easer and have him come out here and ease the Property lines. If find out where your property lines are, I'm gonna have them posted out here. Dumb this Man, property is this so property is, this, is, hey, hey, is this your to property? Al is this Trump. your property? I have the right to maintain it, and I have filed for adverse possession of it, and I am maintaining it. All right, all right, you're maintaining it by making a sinkhole. I'm not gonna argue with you because you have no right to discuss this with me. I don't. I, I have a lease down there. You have no right to discuss this with me. You're not a property owner. You you get the owner. So you, you think that the road is your property? I'm Honey, I went to college for, for landscaping and all this stuff. I know easements. I have a law degree. Actually, I'm not. Technically, I'm in the road. This lady took a bold move by placing her trash cans on top of her neighbor's car in response to them parking in front of her house. She's known for using trash cans as a blockade. She swiftly retaliated when another guy moved them and parked his truck. Look at this lady, put this on my car because I parked on a public street. I parked on a public street and moved trash cans onto the sidewalk. They, they've been blocking this space off for the last week, two weeks, because they think they're entitled to have their own private parking spot. <laughs> That's not how it works on this block, people. It's not how it works. You're not entitled to own a public parking spot on a public road. This is common sense. No. Take it off. Leave it off. I have proof. Oh, no? Okay. Keep talking. Keep incriminating yourself. Keep incriminating yourself, lady. Listen, can you just talk to me? <laughs> this is easy. This is easy. I don't care. This is easy. I don't have to. Because you've been walking them for days and you know it. Because I don't give a shit. That's why, and I have every right not to. I don't give a shit, dude. We can argue all day. It's not. You're not changing my opinion. You're not changing my opinion, dude. You have no argument. I've already told you this. There, there, I'm not trying to argue. You have no argument. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this right here. You think that's okay? As an adult. How old are you, lady? 40? Jesus Christ. I'm racist? Why am I racist? Because I, I park on a... You think I, you think I made an effort to inconvenience you? Stop talking to her. Stop talking to her. If you have a problem with the garbage is here and you're saying that you don't care enough to the knock door. on the door. I don't need to. I'm not saying you need to. I'm just saying you keep bringing up the whole fact that it's a public property, right? That is public space. Or it is. Look, the, hold on. I'm saying if the garbages are here, right, on a public space. Okay. Why move them? If we, if you have because I have every right to. That's why. We have every right to park here. We have every right to put our garbage here. Cool. Like I said, you can put them there when I move. Okay. But I'm currently why, occupying why, the space. Why, why, Occupying the space, dude. How does, how does, okay, so if your garbages are sitting here, right? So how does it excuse having that up there? No, saying, Tell on, me that. You how do you excuse that? You take your garbage out. No, answer the question. How do you freaking excuse that? that I'm oh, do you think it's right? I didn't, I'm not talking you think it's right to do that to someone's property? What if I went and did that and put that on your car? You would be pissed. You would be mad, though. You have to admit. Yeah, you would. You had no right to do that. Listen, listen. I'm you not, did! You listen, just were over here going like this! Listen, listen, listen. I'm not, doo, I'm, not doo. Doo. I'm just saying, you take your garbages out like everybody else, right? Yeah, 100%. Okay. So how would you feel if we moved your garbages, put them somewhere else, and park where you and park where your garbage were? I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care? No. So if we started doing that, you'd be perfectly fine? No, because it happens on this block. You've lived here long enough. You should know. No one does that. No, no one, one does has done that. No, no one does that. One that. <laughs> okay. No one's done that. Yeah, you're the first person who's tried to block it off, or the second, I should say. Sorry, the second. But you're much, you're much, you're much more skilled at blocking it off for longer periods of time. You're more. Stop talking to her, though. She's the one who did it. You didn't. I don't want to involve you, man. 
I have no, I don't want to disrespect you. I know. I don't have any disrespect that. towards you. That is disrespectful and you know it. And you don't own the public street. Two things, two facts that are f cemented in the ground. They're steadfast. They're unchanging. They're unwavering. Okay. I'm just saying, I don't understand. This is law. I don't understand if you talk about being in a Touch what first? If you talk about. What police officer is going to do anything to me? For moving a trash can onto a sidewalk on a public road. If you talk about being an You've adult, lost your mind, lady. You talk about rights, right? If you talk about being an adult, you talk about rights. Being an adult would have knocked on the door and asked. Being an adult wouldn't have put a trash can on top of the front of the hood of my truck. I'm not saying that's being an adult. You think that excuses never, that on a public road? Dude, no. Why are you arguing with me when you have no valid points? There's no, I'm not I'm trying to argue with then you. Then what are you trying to do? I'm trying to talk to you. About what? What's the resolution here? What's the resolution? How are we resolving this? I'm talking about if you're being an adult about things, being an adult would have knocked on the door. I'm not being an adult wouldn't have done that. Shut up for a second. No, you I'm shut not, up. I'm not saying that that is being an adult. Have I once said that? Okay, huh? so stop bringing that up. If I've never said that. I don't care what you have to say. You're so not involved, dude. You're saying, not involved. Bringing, I'm going to take the I trash can involved. off. You're going to deal with it, you're dude. Gonna, okay, okay. And then I'm going to sit out here. Then you're going to deal with that. Deal with what? Then, you're gonna deal then with I will call the cops, dude. I don't want to have to. I have all the proof I need right here. All the cops is that simple. Hey, yeah. Can I get your name first? Goldsboro. C. Goldsboro. G. O. L. D. S. B. O. R. O. U. G. H. And your badge number? 4888. 4888. In a Karen's world, not knowing much and acting like you know everything are basically the same thing. This is why ignorance and confidence nowadays often share the same definition. Think about it this way. A lot of people get nervous talking in front of others, but then you got these Karens confidently making a scene in front of large crowds. The link between confidence and ignorance is like a puzzle piece. It often comes from not grasping the possible consequences or just not realizing how their words and actions might be seen. It's like they're missing some info and that gap makes them boldly speak out, even if what they're saying isn't all that smart. Yeah, so I've been I've been going to this Whole Foods at Mark uh, down at Civic Center, but uh, I ate this and I my, my I started getting chest pains, okay. so I walked all the way over here. I just want to get this stuff checked out for poisoning. This is coffee from their machine. Doesn't have any caffeine in it. it makes my made my chest hurt. Same thing with this. This is bottled and uh i drank it no caffeine okay. same thing so i just need this stuff to get tested you guys to send it to the lab test it uh, press we, charges we don't test stuff like this sir uh because first and foremost do you have any proof that you're actually being poisoned yeah i have my, I have my chest was hurting after i ate it well over here in order to show proof you've been poisoned you gotta go to the hospital and they need to do uh like test on you well you could do a test on the food everything that's being sold there is makes me sick i've been eating this stuff for a long time it's been affecting my health. After they did it the first time, I, I I feel like they have to be held accountable. Like, I'm not just gonna be like, oh, well you did this or did this to my food, let me just let it slide or I'll go to the next place while they're all laughing and whatever else they're doing, you know? And you said it, the, if there's any proof, if you check this food, you're gonna find there's proof. There's no caffeine in this. This is they're supposed to have 250 milligrams of caffeine, 100 milligrams of L-theanine, Lion's main extract 60 milligrams, reishi extract 100 milligrams. There's no caffeine in here. There's no caffeine, sir. That's a civil matter, not a criminal matter. It's a poisoning matter no, because no, it's sir. making my it's making my chest hurt. If I eat if I eat this, it, 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 it's poisoning. It's poisoning me. It's literally causing me to almost go into cardiac arrest. Again, if, if okay, the, do you need an ambulance right now, sir? No, I don't. I told you this is way easier than me than sending a human to the hospital. It's way easier to send this liquid. You put it in your little evidence bag. You send it off. They check it, and it's and I guarantee you, I, I guarantee you, there's gonna be no caffeine in these. How is there no caffeine in this? And this is, you know, and 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 it, this has been going on forever. Uh, you presented no actual facts mm. to show you're actually being poisoned by Whole Foods. Mm. It, the first and foremost, if there is anything going on with you inside, mm. you should be getting checked out at the hospital so that they can see blue blood work and all that to see if there is actually poison in your system or not. That's, yeah. Then, if that's the case, mm. if they find any toxins of any type mm. that have been introduced into your system, mm. then a criminal investigation can that, go that, that, oh, Hold on, yeah. hold on one second, please. Mm. So I, I let you talk, yeah. I appreciate like the same. Mm. So if that's the case, then we will conduct an investigation. Mm. But just because you're, you're, 
you're having an issue with like you believe that this doesn't have caffeine or this doesn't mm. that that's not caused uh, you know, for any type of poisoning where you believe the whole store is conspiring at you um, like I said you might might want to take this up with Whole Foods corporate no, it's a criminal matter. My chest hurts, but uh, as of, and I said, yeah. if, you, if your chest mat, if your chest is hurting, mm -hmm. you should go to the hospital. If you choose not to go to the hospital, then it's really not that serious. But if you believe you're being poisoned, like if yeah. if I'm really, if someone's poisoning me, yeah. and there's something in my system right now, mm -hmm. I'd go to the hospital. Right. But if you but if you believe you don't have to go to the hospital, then. It must not be that serious. It, it is serious, but then why are we going to the hospital? Because you, you can we because if I go to the hospital, it's going to be a long wait. I don't know why what what why it's so hard for you guys to put it in a little baggie and mail it off to the lab and then they check it. It's not because that's not what we use the la our our criminal uh, labs for. As of right now, sir, I can tell you what you told me today and presented me today. Yeah, you presented no actual facts to warrant a criminal investigation at this time. Okay, so you're not going to take this stuff no. and check it. Okay. This is a criminal matter. I'm going to have to file a lawsuit against you guys. And I will be, be coming back. If they keep doing this, I will be, keep returning. And every time you guys don't do it, I've given you the opportunity to check it. So I, I don't know what else to do, you know. That's your guys' choice. So. Thanks for your time. Sometimes.